hello good evening so it's friday a little bit after five o'clock i just realized i put his princess right there so i'm trying to teach judith not to play with bruce's toy that is bruce's specific toy he has a couple that are just for him yeah you got a couple toys that are just yours just because they're little and because he's had them for a long time and they're like his favorites and i know that if she has a chance with them she will shred them so we do get our bark box we've been getting bark box every month for the past year especially since i've been in school and i've been busy that's like my guilt trip like <laughs> She gets to have a bark box, which is like super fun for her. It's one of her favorite things. And then I get to focus on studying. So I don't know what his deal is today. <laughs> He's doing a lot of stuff. I just got home like half an hour ago. And since then, like they ate dinner. Bro, what are you doing? He, he's like, like I've been getting some stuff done around the house and he's just been following me around staring at me like he's waiting for something to happen. Maybe it is because the bark box just came and he knows it's here. I don't know, but now he's doing all this stuff. Anyway, it's a little after five. My mission for tonight is to get as much homework done as possible. I went to Starbucks on my way home from school. I had my marine biology lab today. Um, this is my favorite it's the pecan oat latte which comes with cold foam they now have vegan cold foam and i feel like you can just hear him breathing in the background bro you gotta calm down you're being too loud um so but this thing it's like 725 i think and it's like 500 calories so i need to like chill out on these there he goes get you get your princess <laughs> anyway this one i thought it tasted a little off like it kind of, I w thought they maybe forgot to put the espresso in it um I think it does have because I'm feeling a little espressoed um but it tastes like like when I got it it literally just tastes like cereal milk and there was very little ice in it so I think they might have just I, I'm not really sure what happened I don't think I waited too long to pick it up but it was like the ice was melted so I think it's really watered down but yeah I was really bummed at the idea that there might not be espresso in there considering like all of the stuff that I wrote down to do tonight. I don't know how much of it is gonna get done. I do have takeout coming um, from my favorite Thai place. If you're anywhere near Wilmington, California, check out Smile Thai. They are not all vegan, but they do have a dedicated vegan menu. So I think that's gonna show up in around 40 minutes and I'm gonna try to see how much I can get done before they get here. Bruce, are you just like trying to be the star of the show tonight? Yeah, you are, aren't you? Aren't you? We also got a huge chewy box today, which is mostly like their kibble big bag of kibble and a couple other things but I think he might he might just be expecting a present I don't know so anyway the stuff that I have to do I have um, I'm taking an anthropology class and basically the whole semester we have weekly writing assignments where we have to kind of distill a like a piece of writing from an anthropologist down to one page like a one page abstract we also have the opportunity to revise our abstracts once so we get a grade we get feedback and then we can revise it and submit it the following week so i have one that's due next week i have two revisions um to turn in also on the 17th and then i also have two from a previous class that i, that I actually retook this class because i didn't pass it the first time technically i did pass it i got a c minus but that is not that's not enough for my major so I'm hoping this time I will get an A, not hoping, I will get an A this time. Um, but I do have two abstracts from the past class that I think I can kind of repurpose. And um, so I'm gonna look at those and see if I can get them um, in the good shape to turn in. Because I'm like, yeah, I'm trying to get caught up this weekend, but I'm also hopefully trying to get a little bit of ahead because we're like about halfway through the semester and it's been going mostly good so far but I am getting a little bit anxious about deadlines coming up in the second half. So I wanna to try to get a little bit ahead if I can. I also have for my biology senior project class, um, a writing assignment, a paper I wrote on feline pancreatitis, which is um, almost good to go. I think like the written portion, everything that I have so far is good to go. The only thing that I need to add, two things that I need to add, one is like a couple of like figure figures, like visuals, like I need to find a good diagram because it's um, I'm comparing 
human pancreatitis to feline pancreatitis so i want like images of feline and versus human pancreas um and then i'll probably try to insert like one other kind of visual and then the other thing that i have to add to it is like kind of like where i what direction i think research should go in the future which i feel like that is where a little bit of imposter syndrome kicks in because it's like who am i to say that but also i think i have some good ideas on the subject so i have to like get over it and just say what i think i'm also taking psychopharmacology which is an online class and i am two lectures behind on the videos um which i really enjoy that class uh i don't think it'll be hard to catch up but i might have to revise my um my note te taking technique because my my game plan so far has been to just watch the lecture look at the slides and then write down every single thing on the slide and i think writing it down helps me remember maybe i shouldn't maybe that's a good plan i was gonna say i could just print the slides and take notes which would be less time consuming because i'm constantly having to pause and write but i do think that helps commit to memory what i'm learning so maybe i should just stick it out and do that and then for my marine biology class, um, I have to do a field trip by myself because uh, I was absent because this guy had a tummy ache that day and he had, I'm not going to describe what was going on, but he's okay now. It was thankfully a short-lived thing. He recovered, um, but I missed my field trip. So I have to go to the local aquarium basically and do like a scavenger hunt and a worksheet. So I don't know if that'll get done this weekend, but it's definitely got to go on the schedule for like the coming week because I don't want to like, I don't want to delay it too much. And then I have an annotated bibliography, which I think it sounds more complicated than it actually is. Um, I think it's going to be about a page long um, of just like kind of bullet points. I also have an outline to do um, with my team. It's a team project on microplastics. Again, I don't think that will be too time consuming. Um, we just kind of have to like coordinate and do it and then we also have a group presentation coming up in two weeks so we need to start working on that and then for my organic chemistry class i have two quizzes that are not due until next friday but i want to get them done this weekend um, thankfully they're online quizzes take home open book open note so i like that because i feel like it's like more of a learning tool than like a anxiety inducing like test you know um so i appreciate the take home quizzes I did not do well on my first organic chemistry exam and I'm hoping I can like bring that grade up significantly by the time the end of class comes. And then for my organic chemistry lab, I have a pre-lab due on Wednesday and then a lab report due on Wednesday. And I think this pre this lab report is just like a worksheet. I don't remember. I know we are switching to formal like written lab reports soon. It might be this week, it might be the following week, but that is all the stuff that I want to do. I also have a couple emails like my prof one professor sent out like a survey for suggestions about the class but yeah i have my work cut out for me this weekend and then next week i get to pick my classes i i think i've already picked my classes but i get to register for spring and that's my last semester before i graduate which is exciting i also think my spring semester is going to be a lot easier than this semester i shouldn't say easier i know i have some like tough courses coming but like time wise and scheduling wise this semester i'm on campus five days a week um, and next semester, I think I'm going to cut it down to two, which is awesome. So anyway, I just talked for like 12 minutes and I'm going to see what I can get done before my takeout comes. And I will check out in a little check in, check out, I will check out now. And then I will check back in in a little bit because y'all are holding me accountable to get this done and not get distracted because I feel like there, there's like a pile of laundry in front of me. There's like so much other stuff that I would like to get done this weekend, but I think I need to tackle this like in order there's literally laundry behind me also i don't know if you can see it but <laughs> uh, i'm gonna get this done so i'll see you soon the espresso was definitely in the coffee i can i can tell now Okay, it's about 9.40. I'm signing off for the night. Um, I guess tonight was like somewhat successful. I really, I think I started at like 5.40, right? And I basically have like an outline of one abstract, but I also have those four abstracts that basically need revision, but I didn't do that tonight. 
but I'm still counting that as like progress. And I think these abstracts are probably the hardest thing that I have to do. Like it's the most like mentally taxing. So which is why I'm approaching this in this order. So I can knock all five of those out and then like move on with my life until I have to do another one. <laughs> I think for the most part, I did an okay job at like staying focused. I did take a break to eat and watch a little bit of Grey's Anatomy, um, like half an episode or less. So that was pretty good. But I did get a little distracted though. Like I found myself like Googling <laughs> random stuff like um i one of my assignments that i have to do is going to the aquarium and i have to write a reflection paper about how i feel about zoos and aquariums and i know one thing that bothered me in the past about this specific aquarium is that they had a really big lobster like a really big old lobster in like kind of a small tank and i had learned in the past that like lobsters have a surprisingly large like territory like they walk a lot they walk around um so that's one of the things i was googling is what is a a lobster's like service area not service area <laughs> territory um and like how long do they like to walk in a day um the answer i think is like half a mile to maybe like five miles and it depends on what like life stage they're at the more you know so um i think i'm gonna end that's all i want to say tonight i think i will pick up this vlog tomorrow and possibly sunday and I think I'm going to give myself full credit, even though I'm not posting today, Friday, I'm not going to post, but I did film and my goal was to post a video for every day in October. So I don't know, I might either end this year and post it as its own video or I might continue. Either way, you're going to see me tomorrow. So see you. Bye. Hey, Judith, come here. Let me ask you something. Hi. Do, do you want to eat lunch? Are you hungry? Do you want lunch? You want to eat now? You don't want to wait for dinner, right? You want to go outside? Do you want to go outside first? Or do you want to eat lunch? What do you think? They're right here. Hello, good afternoon. It's uh, Saturday. I just gave the dogs lunch because it's like two o'clock. Um, I had school this morning. I had one client. And then I just got home and I need, I want, I need <laughs> to get some more studying done. Um, I do feel a little bit better about the paper I started yesterday. I think I just needed a little time to like step away from it because it was stressing me out. But um, I do feel like I want to knock as many of these abstracts out of the way as possible soon <laughs> so that I can focus on other stuff. And I realized like a couple of things. One reason that I want to get ahead um, in my classes right now is because one of the classes I'm taking is organic chemistry and I'm really just not getting it. <laughs> I took general chem like probably in, I don't know, I think it was 2010 or earlier. I don't remember the exact year and I wasn't super strong in it then and now time has passed and what little knowledge I had, a lot of it has gone away. And um, I don't know, I've been thinking about maybe trying to find like a, a tutor to meet with at least a couple times to go over like the study guides and the homework. And yeah, because I didn't do great on my first exam. My instructor does replace, if you do better on the final, which is cumulative, he'll replace your lowest exam with your final score. So hopefully that helps me out, especially being that it's cumulative and it's a lot of material that we've seen before. So I'm hoping... <sighs> I can learn from my mistakes throughout the course and do well on the final. So that's why, that's one of the reasons why I want to try to get as much of work done, as much work done for my other classes right now as I can. Another reason I want to get ahead is because uh, I want to get back to working on dog training stuff. I've been talking about starting a podcast and I know like I kind of have the time to do it right now. I just feel like I don't have the mental energy until I like clear some of these tasks out of the way and there's also like I have a lot of books that I want to read um I've been there's a book that I want to read about street, street dogs in India um that I don't own yet but I've been wanting to buy it but I've been talking myself out of buying it because I know I don't have the time to read it right now but I think that might be a reward for myself um during winter break that I can read that book but I also have a lot of books about dog training and other things that I have been meaning to read and not gotten to because I have, because I just am 
I'm like being told what I have to read right now and then I don't want to read anything else. So I fed the dogs lunch because I don't want them to pester me for the next couple of hours. They usually eat around four but they don't know how to tell time and a lot of times when I get home in like the mid afternoon they think that it's dinner time and then they don't leave me alone. So um, I've also been thinking about starting to give them lunch because like my schedule has been a little weird. There are some nights like when I get home from school later, like maybe eight or nine o'clock and then like it's, I leave too early on those days to give them dinner before I go. Um, I don't think the dogs would mind it too much, but Herschel, if he eats dinner too early, he gets up at like 3 a.m. the next day. So um, yeah, I think that it'll give me a little more flexibility feeding them three times a day. I've also been thinking that might be a uh, something I want to maybe look into if there's any studies on like recommended frequency for feeding because lately I have had more clients like feeding their who feed their dogs and cats like three times or more per day so I was actually thinking I mentioned that I have to research something for a podcast episode and for my biology writing class I was thinking that might be an easy topic to do as much as I would love to do a, a complicated topic, I don't think I have the bandwidth for it right now. So as long as the research on that subject exists, um, maybe that'll be one. So I don't know. I'm going to eat my noodles. I just heated up some noodles from yesterday and I'm going to work on my assignment and my glasses keep falling up. I wore a sweatshirt today. So we're in that awkward t transition. It was fall in the morning and now it's summer again. Look at this tail. Like, look at Bruce. I can't. It looks like it belongs in, like, a marching band person's cap. Anyway, I might be losing steam for the night. I literally was falling asleep reading my book, this book, and um, I realized... I started thinking maybe it's time to get ready for bed and then I looked at my phone and realized it was 6.50 p.m. I don't know if I mentioned this, but I did not sleep well last night thanks to my 4 p.m. espresso. So I think I might call it pretty soon though and just plan to get up really early tomorrow. It's Daryl day tomorrow. I think I'm gonna also try to go to the aquarium tomorrow and finish that assignment. And then I also have two client visits to do tomorrow, which should take maybe an hour and a half, two hours. But I am, I am feeling like I need to tap out on my paper. I did finish one essay. The second one I pulled up, because I had taken this class previously, and so I pulled up the old version, which I think was my rough draft. We get to like submit it and then revise it. So I think it was my rough draft. And the first paragraph was pretty solid. I did change a couple things. The second paragraph is more like summary, which like seems important. It's an interesting story about a Javanese funeral. And so my second paragraph, I kind of summarized like the events of the funeral, but the paper, my paper is really supposed to be about anthropological theory. So I'm supposed to like, like what I want to do is like relate this person's theory to the story, like why he chose to include that story. But I did go through and reread like the actual essay, which I think was like 25 pages. Um, and I think like I only have to write maybe like three or four more sentences. So it shouldn't be too bad. I can do that like when I wake up tomorrow. So I think I'm gonna try to finish all my anthro stuff tomorrow and then all of my marine bio stuff tomorrow so I'm like caught up and also ahead. Then Monday I'll start working on organic chemistry and psychopharmacology. I might actually try to start psychopharmacology tomorrow so I can just focus on OCHEM next week because I have another exam on Saturday and like four online quizzes and a homework assignment. The four quizzes aren't me being behind, it's just my professor like assigned them all at once. So yeah, I think I'm gonna try to get everything else out of the way as much as possible so I can focus on OCHEM next week. Um, I'm not gonna post this tonight because I, I am tired, and uh, but I'm still gonna consider it today's video. So I'll post it tomorrow morning and then I'll probably post another one tomorrow night. Okay, is that it? I think that's it. I'll see you tomorrow.